Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. Now this will be for April 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit everyone out there. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid and energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Okay, Sag, what's going on with you? Oh, quite a few things. I reckon this one came up last time. Wow. Pretty sure last time Father Healing came out for you guys too. I remember that card. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that card for you guys. Um, okay. So, on the bottom. You really need to work on manifesting what it is you want. That's the first message. Now, um, you might be somebody that finds music very relaxing. You really enjoy music. So, maybe, you know, why you're trying to manifest Think of what it is you want and then chant and hum, sing. Maybe you want to play some music, you know, something like that. But music's good for the soul, they say, so maybe there's something there for you. So, yeah, as I've said to you before, there's something to do with father and healing that you need to do. Um, because, as I said, you just... I know I think I probably said this in the last reading, but you bring that trauma or that negativity or that drama or you know you bring that that baggage to the rest of your life unless you deal with it so there's something there that you need to look at for whoever that that's relevant for um but yeah as i said to you with the manifesting you really don't have much faith and unfortunately um like i've just said to aries and I think, oh, definitely Leo, but I think Aries as well. It's like all the fire signs, you're all going through the same kind of things. Um, you really need to keep the faith. So work on manifesting, but it's not going to happen for you if you don't have the faith. It's kind of the way it goes. So put out there what you want and then have faith. Now you've got to explore your options and ready, set, go, both in reverse. It's like you want, you want something, right? You have the, your heart set on this, whatever desire it is for you. At the same time, you're not ready to kind of go and explore your options. Like you're not really looking to do that. So it's like you're trying to manifest what you want. You don't have faith that it's actually going to happen. Oh, for some of you, I just heard in my head and it's interrupted my thoughts. The father doesn't have to be your father. It could mean the father of your kids. Um, maybe you've got baby daddy issues, whatever this is. But there's, yeah. Anyway, now back to what I was saying because that was rude. rude. They had to say that right then, so I had to tell you. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like you really, really, tr like you're trying to manifest. It, it would be like if I want the love of my life, right? I'm going to manifest the love of my life. At the same time, here we are with the faith card in reverse. Yeah, I don't really think it's going to happen. But, you know, I am trying to make that happen. But yeah, I don't really think it's going to. I'm probably going to be single, blah, 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 blah. Then at the same time, you're sitting on your couch expecting this love of your life to just knock on the door. That is not going to happen for you. And if it does, it will be, you know, one in a billion chance that that's going to happen. You actually need to put in the hard work, get out there, make an effort and go and meet people or put yourself out there. Look at what options you have. You know what I'm saying? Like there needs to be, you need to put in some effort. 
and actually be at a place where you're you're wanting i guess that because i don't feel like you're ready and maybe you've got some other issues to deal with first okay tell me more the search okay so it's not actually the right time for you to kind of do that right now um to move forward you'll know when the right time is but as i said i feel like you're not ready and maybe that getting not ready feeling is because it's not the right time or it could mean that you're also not wanting to wait for perfect timing like you want this to happen now 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 but i feel like for some of you it's more that you're just not you're not ready But just, just don't try to control everything. Go with the flow. Just And it's funny I say go with the flow when I'm looking at all these, you know, mermaid cards with water. And, I mean, not all of them have water. Like if you look at this one, for instance, no water. But all of the cards down here contain water. So for some of you, I don't know if this is relevant at all, but for somebody maybe there's something to do with a water sign. Because look, yeah, like there's a lot of blue and I don't know if blue means something, it may be Google blue spiritually, there's, I mean, this, this water stuff here, I mean, water is all about your emotions and intimacy and your relationships. So, you know, the fact that it's blue, bluey green and pink, you know, maybe it's because it's all affecting your heart. So, yeah, as I said, just a thought that I had just then, but stop trying to control everything. Just go with the flow because doors will open for you, but it's going to happen when it's going to happen. I have one more card. Anything else you want to say? Now, as I said, we were talking about manifesting over here. I might just keep this card here because it keeps coming up. The manifesting, it's like you're not even asking for what it is you want. So how is the universe supposed to know what it is you want if you're not even asking? Like things will happen in divine timing, but what is it you want? It might have something to do with this happening in spring for people um i'm not sure what that is if you're not in australia but um i know fall is autumn so i'm not sure what spring is but anyway in australia spring is actually like towards the end of the year september october november i think it is so yeah but like it's funny because you will start to manifest whatever it is you desire, right? But you've got to, as I said, manifest. You've got to ask the universe for what it is you want. And if you want it in spring, maybe get going. I don't know if it has something to do with moving or pregnancy something to do with kids there's i feel like there's something for somebody there um so whether that's something that you're after that you're trying to get but i feel like you know you can do it you can do it is the message you've got the power And 
may be part of exploring your options and not wanting it right now is because you haven't even asked. But I feel like with the perfect timing, your patience will be rewarded. Something will be worth waiting for, which is great. Um, you've also got brothers and sisters. Maybe you don't have any. Maybe you're not close to your brothers and sisters. As I said, there's some sort of healing, father healing. Maybe it's got to do with a brother something right there's some sort of healing you need to do okay let's start doing some tarot because this is already at 11 minutes nearly okay sad But please don't think I'm ever being tough on Sag because I'd be tough on anybody if they're, if I need to be. got three but that's okay on the bottom you have the knight of pentacles in reverse you're just not really in a happy place you know it's you possibly have a short attention span, but I feel like you're, you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you're bored. You're you're at a standstill. You're pretty careless. You don't really care about this situation, this person, whatever this is. Um, maybe maybe that's part of the what you're trying to manifest. I feel like you can't, for some of you, it's about having a home. You can't get that. You, you know, it's like you don't want to move from where you are. And it could involve kids. It doesn't have to be you getting pregnant, but maybe there's something to do with kids involved in this situation. Um, but, yeah, also... Yeah, you have a lot of limit, self-limiting beliefs. Like what all these negative thoughts and, you know, you judge yourself a lot, a lot. But everything we do has a cause and effect. Everything is, you know, there's karma for people that do the wrong thing and there's, I guess, karma, you know, it's, it's like what you do. I guess what you put out, you'll get back is the best way to say it. Um, if you do wrong, then, you know, you'll probably end up having something hard in your life. So you want to be able to do the right thing and treat people the way you want to be treated. Um, okay, anyway, I'm not here to lecture you. So three of abundance um, in reverse. You're... I feel like, and I know I've said this for months now, it 
that there's a lack of abundance, right? I don't care whether it's three, ten, whatever, right? There's this lack of abundance and lack of financial abundance, lack of uh, stability, lack of material resources. And as I said, with the new home, like you, I feel like you can't afford to or there's something to do with that, right? You, you just can't. Like if you could move out tomorrow and you won the lotto, you'd be out of there. But I feel like you're, you're feeling like you're stuck because you can't afford to do something about that. But I also feel like maybe you need to like do some sort of work where you're working alone rather than I feel like you'd rather be alone is what I'm what I'm feeling rather than be in the situation you're in with this person you would rather be alone I don't feel like you're like-minded I don't feel like you work together as a team um there's no like collaboration there's no you're not you're not doing anything to bring in or get some sort of material gain. Or you're not adding to this stability and giving your, you know what I mean? You're not helping the situation is what I want to say. At the same time though, you're not wanting to let it go. It's, you don't want to release the past. This person could be a Scorpio or a Virgo. Or a Sag. Could also be Liberan as well so far. Um Yeah, you're not you're not wanting you're not wanting to let this go at all. And unfortunately, you know, you also need to do that work on yourself. Like you're resisting the change, but you also, you need to do some work on you. And it's funny because three and one is four, right? Because the death card is 13. So three and one is four and four and it's in reverse, right? Four is all about stability and foundation and it's in reverse, meaning there is no stability. But you do need to just kind of be alone. You really need to be like a hermit. You need to go and do some soul searching, do some introspection, you know, really contemplate and maybe even meditate, but be by yourself. And um, because I don't feel like you feel fulfilled in your life. Can you tell me more? Yeah, it affects your it affects your heart chakra. Oh, it affects your heart chakra, and it also affects your um, base chakra. But what, you're going through a situation um, could be a Taurus, but you're going through a situation where um, you need to learn. Like this is all a spiritual lesson for you, and it's funny because you've got five. 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 And then you've got four and one. Five. So maybe you need to look into five, five, five. Five. Five, five. There's something to do with fives. Um, and funny enough, four and one. Five. 
there's a lot of fives and fives are about conflict about loss and about change so it's interesting to me that the one number that you have a lot of is five and you've also got conflict and defeat like it's this is toxic this if the situation you're in i'm not meaning to laugh but it's just like the way the universe works it's just telling you this needs to end like this is not good oh god my whole body is like goose bumping um you've also got two ones and ones are about beginnings and opportunities so you know it talks about manifesting your dreams and you know some new love coming in but as i said it's or it could be this toxic love relationship that you have um yeah but whatever as i said it's all a spiritual lesson for you there is definitely as i said finances involved and i mean really it is going to end in heartbreak and then you've got four and one five four and one look five a lot of fives five 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 um okay but yeah, as I said, you can manifest your dreams, right? So as much as you don't want to let it go, manifest what you want and then have faith. Like I said, everything will happen when it's meant to. Um, and it's going to be worth waiting for. But you really need to let this other situation go first. And I know that's going to be hard because obviously if you've got no money, it's like, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? I need a new home. I can't afford to buy it. Um, I've got kids. You know, what am I going to do? How am I going to, you know, survive? How are we going to eat? You know, like I get all of that, right? Work on manifesting, though, things that might help you. Maybe you're going to manifest a new job. Like you can't manifest a lotto. Get off your ass and go get a job. You know what I'm saying? Maybe do something to make you some money. But whatever it is, I just feel like... Pay attention to dreams, pay attention to, to signs um, that you see, that you get. Could be numbers, like I said. Um, but yeah, work on manifesting what you want. Um, you do need to withdraw, though. You need to kind of do that introspection. And, you know, I feel like you're going to be hesitant to kind of get into anything new because what if it doesn't make you happy? And also you're hesitant to kind of move on due to not having the financial, you know, resources to do that. But you are going to, I feel like, either relocate, you are going to move, you're going to release the baggage. It's like moving to safety, um, whatever this is, but it's like storms passed and your life will, you know, the stress will start to sort of fade away and you're going to start having some happier times. Um, but I feel like it's going to be you moving. You may move over water. You may move to another country when we can. You may just move down the road or in another suburb. But whatever this is, it's you moving, which is good because I feel like, you know, you need to do that. For yourself as much as you don't want to let go you really need to can you tell me more can we more out of this situation yeah whatever efforts you put in you will reap rewards for. Man, try saying that a few times fast. Reap rewards. Try saying that fast. It's really hard. Um, but yeah, like put in that work. You know what I'm saying? You know, you've always been in this period, um, this this um, time in your life, and you're actively waiting. You know, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting, um, having an expectation about what it is you expect. But at the same time, it's not all happening. Yeah, I don't feel like, you know, you want happiness, but you've got to 
be in a situation where you can be and you're not. Yeah, there's just no victory and success in this situation. But you really don't want to be alone. But you need to withdraw. It's going to take inner strength to do so, but you're going, you, you know, you need to do it. All right, let's get on with that. Two of action. Which is funny, you just had the three of wands and now you've got the two. You have these personal goals and yeah you fear the unknown but make a plan because i don't feel like you've really got a plan because you don't have the courage to kind of move on from where you're at so you know now it's like you need to move so make a plan or um Yeah, I feel like you need to kind of work on what it is that what's causing you in a conflict and maybe that's lack of money and do something about it. Make a plan, manifest what it is you want. How can you, it's got something to do with the money, the abundance, the material resources, the shelter, the safety, whatever. You need to make some sort of plan. But I know for some of you, you really don't feel like you can move forward. You feel like you don't have anything, any other options. At the same time, I just heard in my head, you don't want to be jumping from one relationship to another just because it's like this person can give me shelter and now I'm not happy, so I need a new home, so I'm going to jump into this relationship so I have like you know, the person I'm not happy with and I've jumped from there to this other relationship that, you know what, I don't even know this person or I'm not really that happy with being with them either, but they're giving me what I want. You know what I'm saying? So be aware of that. Um, yeah, you really need to work on this with the Queen of Pentacles. You really need to work on just being, you know, resourceful and dependable, um, a working parent you know, and somebody who, I just feel like you need to work on this, these finances. You need to work on getting some, being self-sufficient. Maybe there's something that you're going to do where it's got to do with design or decorating. Maybe you enjoy that. Um, yeah, there's something that Maybe you're going to start your own business doing this. You know what I'm saying? But whatever it is, I feel like if you if you try to um, meditate and think about it, I feel like if you put it out to the universe, you may have a message by morning for somebody. Maybe that's one or a few people. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, with the, with the temperance card, like you can only control you, right? You can't control another person. So if you're not happy, make a change. You know, this is all about um, having the maturity and the wisdom to make a change. You know, I feel like you don't feel like you have many choices, like I keep saying. You want something that's going to be a win-win solution, but I feel like it's not going to happen. But you don't feel like you have a lot of choice. It's going to take willpower. It's going to take you being determined to actually make something happen. Yeah, look. This is the card for being self-sufficient. Um, I don't know whether you're hustling somebody, but you need to work on your self-worth. And I feel like it's also this way. You need to work on being self-sufficient. So, you know, like it's it's in reverse because you're not. You're not independent. You're not 
self-sufficient you're not accomplished you're not you don't have the material resources that you need like i've said so yeah make a decision because you're not happy make a decision to move on and get away from this this toxic situation because as i said it's not making you happy why stay there you can only control you so anyway that's what i have for you sag um i hope that resonates and if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you with the next read thanks for watching bye